feel like you're constantly being rushed. Net for service. Average time taken between points. Oh, speaking of Phil Mickelson. <laughs> Seven years ago, Roger Federer had one of the best comeback seasons of all time. Winning two Grand Slams and three Masters titles, Federer ended his legendary 2017 season with a winning record of over 91%. Roger started the 2018 season right where he finished, as he won his second Australian Open title in a row and 20th Grand Slam title overall. The Swiss Meister then won the title in Rotterdam and went to the Indian Wells Masters for another magic show. This was Roger's best ever start to a tennis season as he reached the Indian Wells final with an undefeated record of 17 wins and 0 losses. In this video, we'll be going over his entire majestic journey throughout the tournament and see how just one choke completely turned the rest of Roger's career upside down. Because one week after that, he lost his world number one ranking to Rafael Nadal after failing to world number 175 Tanasi Kokonakis in the second round of Miami. And unfortunately, Federer won only one Masters title and didn't win a single Grand Slam after that until the end of his career. Before I leave you with over 20 minutes of the true last dance of Neo Federer, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more original tennis content. Thank you so much for watching and without further ado, let's get started. Decision. It's a volley straight out of the mid 80s. Oh, again, it's just such an intelligent first volley. Excellent start. And the Federer playing with a sense of purpose here. Again, seven match Federer. Two sets to left. Six, three, seven, six. Federer survives a set point. Away, definitely outside his comfort zone. And not easy playing against Federer because you know you're playing not only. Oh, oh, waving his Wilson wand is Roger Federer. New ball speed. Still a effective. Last so is effective. He's got it. Nice way to shut the gates. And again, he's 14 in a row now for Federer. He is cruising right now. He's got that racket. Not quite Phil Mickelson yet. being rushed Net for service. average time taken between points oh speaking of Phil Mickelson <laughs> Federer has just done a, a little number there on that backhand slice <laughs> oh, that's 
not an easy shot. Wow. Single to the majors. She's big. And Floyd fell for a round at least. Well, that was magic from Federer. He just threw himself into that back end. Yeah, almost bullet six points. Thanks for coming. Set the match video. Two tests to nine. Six two, six one. Playing with the clinical efficiency. Shardy did so off. well to get this back through the legs. Look at the pleasure that he derives from this point. <laughs> he was smiling before he even hit the shot. Oh, that is a laser. Shardy didn't even see that. That was taken. 30-15. So early that... That, that is a hundred percent frame, isn't it? Yeah. Oof. He struck at the end of the first, and he's yeah, it's fifteen and over Federer in twenty eighteen. The unbeaten streak continues. Certainly one of his more challenging. Oh, what a shot. Got him. That is unbelievable. The patented ship return yeah. on a break point to draw Chung in. <laughs> Tried to out better. better. <laughs> Still too cute there, Chung. <laughs> of action on it. Watch the kick on this and how it gets out of the strike zone. Unbelievable serve because of how well Chung's returning.
Sick both guys. Sick video game tennis. Yeah. really have that in the shoulder. It was tough for Chang to kiss the tape. <laughs> well, we were down in Melbourne at Floats Long. Down in Melbourne, and he was practicing, would you say, strangely? He wasn't really playing with a lot of intensity. When will that come back in? Oh, what a shot. Beautiful time. He just picked it clean. He just stopped on a dime patch of the summer. Oh, oh, no. oh, it's all going in now. He's, really he, this guy's got it together. That is amazing. Well, I asked that because if he gets it together. Mr. Federer. <laughs> Federer said, did you see it? He said, it, it, to me, it, it was feels long. He said, okay, then I'll challenge. <laughs> yeah, that was long. Is that a commentary on the overrule yes, on the I, challenge I, I think so, yeah. He wanted to give Mohammed. He knew it was long. He wanted to give him one. <laughs> Make it 12. Mr. Oh, we have to <laughs> So no... Blister related retirement, but a clinic. That'll do nicely, though. That's well done. I tried on a Pete Sampras's. It wasn't a great slice. Roger Federer is back in business. What a point. The best of the day so far. Against 99 out of the top 100 players. The show would have been good enough. Oh, he's kept his call cool so well. Got it. Brilliant defense from Federer. Absolutely spectacular. What a rally. Really clever. And the first set out of Federer's reach, finally something that he can control. Oh, is that going to be a turning point? right to the extremities in terms of it was a terrific serve Delpo must have thought oh you genius how could you do that oh yes thrilling entertaining But boy, isn't it taking something from Federer to just scramble a point off this guy.
Yeah, absolutely. Stop it. That is... Well, let me introduce you to the eighth wonder of the world. Class. Staggering. Oh, perfectly played. He's got him this time. He's gone back the same way as he did a couple of times. With... Six four. Noise and encouragement for the great champion. Federer levels things up. I think there's a challenge. And just to add to the drama of the moment, it is out. This is incredible. Oh. Talk about having everything. You should have waited. I should have waited, but you didn't stop them, did you? You just let them come. This is another call. Huh? Well, I was talking to Juan. Well, and you let Roger. him walk all the way to the chair and sit down? There's only so you much I can... should say I, I, told him, I told him to go yeah, back. Okay, well, I did tell him to go back. Give him a bloody warning or something. He set it up just the way he was hoping to. It's utterly awe-inspiring out here from both players. It's Federer's time this time as he takes the second on what was a truly magical tiebreak. I mean, look at that reaction. How often do you see that from Roger Federer? <laughs> what a response from what looked like a wonderfully struck forehand from Del Potro. Oh, we've had the power. And we've had the touch, and again... Well, he went at him, but he didn't really go at him with all the pace he had at his disposal. because when he latches onto it, he is capable of shots that other players could simply dream about. Then Del Potro. Del Potro's fearsome forehand saves the day.
and he pounces. He's been searching for it. Yeah, the tide turned, didn't it? Just a few games ago where Roger Federer just decided, you know what, I'm ready for this. Is he attempting a drop shot there? Yeah, it's one of his favorite plays. It's now officially had everything. was played perhaps just a little too conservatively, allowed Federer to get the ball down low. And there wasn't anything Delpo could do with the half volley. Well, he sent Federer the wrong way, the ball the right way, and he's... He left space for the forehand, and this time it does deliver for Del Potro. Can you believe it? Well, in those situations, sometimes you just have to guess. What a change of direction off the return, and it cool. And in a tennis paradise, Juan Martin Del Potro finds his own personal tennis nirvana. He is a Masters 1000 champion for the first time and deservedly so. Get your popcorn ready because I guarantee you have never seen and will never see a tennis match like this ever again.